Oxidative staining of ultra-thin sections for TEM. Please note if you have more than six grids, use the Harioka method instead. To do staining, you will need grids with ultra-thin sections, stain, a timer, grid forceps, a petri dish, parafilm, a micropipette with pipette tips. two beakers of distilled water, hardened Wattman filter paper cut into small wedges, large forceps, sodium hydroxide pellets, and a cover to keep the grids dark. Here's the list again for reference. Once you've assembled all these items, you are ready to begin. To begin, take the parafilm and place it on the bottom half of a petri dish. Be sure that it lies flat. Next, pipette 20 microliter drops of uranyl acetate stain onto the parafilm, one drop per grid. The uranyl acetate must be stored in the dark black tube and centrifuged prior to use. Take your sample out of the box. Place your grid onto the drop of stain, sample side on the stain, and start your timer. Wait one minute before you place the next grid onto the adjacent droplet. Next, cover the grids with a dark cover and wait for the desired time for staining. This is usually 12 minutes for animal tissue and 20 minutes for plant tissue. Once the desired stain time approaches, remove the dark lid and get ready to rinse. Lift the petri dish lid and remove the first grid as close to the stain time as possible and quickly place the grid into the first wash beaker. Wash the grid by moving it quickly up and down at least 25 times. Place the grid aside. At the one minute mark, wash the second grid in the same beaker of water using the same technique. Once the grids are washed, dry them using a triangle of filter paper. Gently brush the filter paper alongside the grid, being very careful not to rub the grid or push it off the forceps.
While the grids are drying, prepare for lead citrate staining. Place several sodium hydroxide pellets onto a clean area of the pear film in a square formation. Ensure that you leave space in the middle and cover it with a lid. Let that sit for a minute or two. Next, pipe at 20 microliters of lead citrate onto the parafilm so that the droplet is surrounded by sodium hydroxide. Lead will precipitate with exposure to carbon dioxide, so be sure to cover the petri dish. Add one droplet per sample. Get yourself ready to place the grids onto the lead citrate by removing any clutter or objects. Lift the petri dish just enough to place the first grid onto the first droplet. Sample side on the stain. Start the timer and wait one minute to place the second droplet. Ensure the grid is also sample side down on the stain. Cover the two samples with a dark cover and wait the desired amount of time. This is usually half the time as the urinal acetate. Once the end time approaches, get the second wash beaker ready and lift the lid just enough to retrieve the first grid and quickly place it into the water wash, washing up and down at least 25 times. After that, set the grid aside. After one minute, retrieve the second grid and wash it in the same way. Dry the grids by gently brushing a filter paper triangle alongside the grid, removing the excess water. Again, be careful not to rub the grid or push it off the forceps. Move the first sample out of the way so you don't knock it while you are drying the second sample.
Allow the grids to dry completely before storing them in a proper grid storage system. Record in your grid log which grids have been stained.